Dear learners, how are you? Welcome to my another class. It's a great pleasure to have another class with you. This is Anwar Parvez, Assistant Teacher, English, Rajar Bazar Government High School, Chunarogat, Hobi Ganj. Dear students, in my today's class, I am going to discuss about changing assertive sentence to interrogative sentence. So let's begin our class. Dear students, first of all, we have to know what is assertive sentence and what is an interrogative sentence. Okay, first of all, assertive sentence. Actually, assertive sentence uh, denotes all the statements describing incident, feeling, opinion, history, etc. And interrogative sentence actually asks a, a question. So, assertive sentence, there is another name, statement sentence. Okay, interrogative sentence, question. Now, let's have an example of assertive sentence. Okay. The girl is going to school okay so assertive sentence starts with subject then verb then extension or object so it's very important uh, that assertive sentence always begins with subject okay and interrogative as it asks a question so definitely there will be a question mark after this sentence so how this sentence is formed First of all, is he going to school? So, in, assert, in question sentence or interrogative sentence, there will be auxiliary verb after before subject. So, the sentence starts with auxiliary verb. And another way, WH word, a question sentence starts with WH word, then auxiliary verb, then subject. So, most important thing is uh, in question sentence, there is auxiliary verb before the subject. Okay, and in assertive sentence, the sentence starts with subject, then verb, auxiliary verb, main verb will be after the subject. Okay, so this is the basic difference of uh, assertive sentence and interrogative sentence. Now, let us discuss how to change an assertive sentence to interrogative sentence. Okay, look at this board. I have given a chart of the rules. Uh, these are the highlights of all rules uh, in this chart. So, I will discuss a step by step all these rules. Okay, first of all, look at the rule 1. Here I have uh, uh, written that if an assertive sentence is affirmative form, it will be negative in interrogative sentence. If an assertive sentence in negative form, it will be affirmative form in interrogative sentence. Okay. So, how? First of all, using auxiliary. Verb. Okay. If we want to make assertive sentence into interrogative sentence, as I have discussed the, um, for, uh, the definition of assertive sentence and interrogative sentence that assertive sentence starts with subject and interrogative sentence starts with auxiliary verb or wh word. So, first rule I have to make an assertive sentence to interrogative sentence by using auxiliary verb. Okay, how? For example, assertive sentence, the girl is going to school okay so look at the sentence subject auxiliary verb okay if in assertive sentence there is auxiliary verb then to make it an interrogative sentence the auxiliary verb will be written before the subject and another thing as i told the, in affirm is a assertive sentence in affirmative form the interrogative sentence will be in negative form so look at the sentence this sentence is affirmative sentence uh, of assertive sentence so this will be in negative notion in interrogative sentence and the auxiliary verb will be uh, written before the subject so is then negative notion the negative notion will be contracted form uh, an apostrophe t then subject the girl then verb main verb going to 
school then interrogative mark okay so the sub uh, auxiliary verb is written before the subject another example i have bought a ticket okay here is auxiliary verb have it will be written before the subject okay have as it is affirmative sentence in interrogative sentence it will be negative so negative notion haven't then subject verb then extension or object question mark so using auxiliary verb that means if in affirmative sentence there is auxiliary verb then this auxiliary verb will be written before the subject and if the sentence is affirmative form in interrogative sentence this sentence will be in negative form okay then another example they were not waiting for us this is assertive sentence and this sentence is in negative form so if assertive sentence in negative form in interrogative it will be in affirmative form and the auxiliary verb will be before the subject okay where so that's as interrogative sentence will be in affirmative form so where the subject then where they then verb waiting for us interrogative marks okay another example we cannot beat you so here is it is a negative form then interrogative sentence will be affirmative form and auxiliary verb will be before the uh, subject so can we the verb you interrogative mark okay so what we have seen uh, if in affirmative sentence there is auxiliary verb assertive sentence there is auxiliary verb the auxiliary verb will be uh, before the subject in interrogative sentence and if the uh, assertive sentence is in affirmative form the interrogative sentence will be negative form and if the affirmative assertive sentence in neg uh, negative form the interrogative sentence will be affirmative form okay so if there is no auxiliary verb in assertive sentence how can we make the assertive sentence into interrogative sentence okay i have said um, in uh, when i uh, discussed the affirmative to negative that uh, if we want if we, there is no auxiliary verb in uh, affirmative sentence there will be do does did according to tense uh, as auxiliary verb so if we want to make an assertive sentence into interrogative sentence and in assertive sentence if there is no auxiliary verb then according to tense we have to bring do does and did uh, to make it interrogative sentence okay in present indefinite tense there will be do and does and in past indefinite tense there will be did so let's have an example we love our parents so look at the sentence in this sentence in assertive sentence there is no auxiliary verb so we have to bring auxiliary verb to make it interrogative sentence as we have to uh, write an auxiliary verb before the subject so as there is no auxiliary verb we have to bring do does or did and it is look at the sentence it is present indefinite tense so in this sentence there will be do or does so what will be there as the subject is we first person then the auxiliary verb will be do so use do here and another thing it's an affirmative sentence that's why in interrogative sentence it will be no negative notion so for this reason don't then the subject don't we then verb love our 
parents okay question mark and another sentence they left the village so there is no auxiliary verb also and if we want to make it interrogative sentence we have to bring auxiliary verb and look at the tense of the sentence it is an past indefinite tense and in past indefinite tense there will be auxiliary verb did and as it is affirmative sentence in interrogative sentence it will be negative form so bring did as auxiliary verb then negative didn't the subject then verb leave the village question mark okay why leave is here there is left so remember that after do does did there will be verb in base form main verb will be in base form okay so in first rule we have discussed uh, about uh, making assertive sentence into interrogative sentence using auxiliary verb so i have revised uh, for your uh, better understanding i let me revise it uh, if there is auxiliary verb in assertive sentence you have to uh, write the auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence before subject to make it interrogative sentence and if there is no auxiliary verb in assertive sentence you have to bring do does did as auxiliary verb in present indefinite tense you have to bring do does and in past indefinite tense you have to bring did as auxiliary verb and if the assertive sentence in affirmative form it will be negative in interrogative sentence and if the assertive sentence in negative form it will be affirmative in interrogative sentence okay so i hope you have understood the first rule then move to second one okay the second rule if in an assertive sentence there is no in interrogative sentence there will be any instead of no for example there was nothing to do okay if you want to make it interrogative sentence the auxiliary verb will be before the subject okay was then subject was there instead of no there will be any okay was there any then thing to do so in assertive sentence no in interrogative sentence there will be any instead of no and the auxiliary verb will be before the subject another example there is no use of money okay then interrogative the auxiliary verb is is there instead of no there will be any is there any use of money then interrogative marks okay then third rule in an assertive sentence there is never in interrogative sentence we have to write ever instead of never for example I shall never go there okay then never here it will be ever in interrogative sentence so shall auxiliary verb before the subject shall I then never instead of never write ever shall I ever go there interrogative marks okay then I never I never visited the zoo okay look at this sentence in this sentence there is no auxiliary verb and this sentence is in first indefinite tense for this reason there will be did as auxiliary verb so write did then subject did I never will be ever did I ever then verb in base form did I ever visit 
the zoo then interrogative marks okay so in a uh, third rule uh, if in a assertive sentence there is never in interrogative sentence we have to write ever instead of never okay hence in fourth rule if in assertive sentence there is everybody all everyone and in interrogative sentence we have to write who instead of everybody all or everyone then the sentence will be in negative form okay look at the example everybody wants to be happy so in assertive sentence there is everybody as subject so in interrogative sentence instead of everybody we have to write who then write who then the sentence will be negative form so if we want to make it negative then uh, we have to bring auxiliary verb and not so in this sentence there is no auxiliary verb and this sentence is in present indefinite tense that's why we have to bring do or does uh, who as everybody is in uh, singular form so who will be regarded as singular subject then uh, we have to write does so who does then the, sorry uh, negative form who does not then want to be happy question mark so okay another example everyone wishes to be successful so instead of everyone write who then as present indefinite tense there will be auxiliary verb do or does here for singular subject there will be does negative form does not who does not then wish to be successful interrogative marks okay so dear learners in rule 4 we have uh, seen that in assertive sentence everybody all everyone there will be who instead of these uh, things in interrogative sentence and the sentence will be negative form okay then uh, next rule if in assertive sentence there is nobody none and no one as subject in interrogative sentence you have to write who instead of this one the uh, nobody none or uh, no one and the rest of the sentence will be same in interrogative sentence okay for example nobody believes a liar okay so instead of nobody just write who and the rest of the sentence will be same who believes a liar okay none likes a liar okay here none instead of none write who then rest of the sentence will be same you need not change anything of this sentence okay so dear learners uh, if in assertive sentence there is nobody none and no one uh, as subject then in interrogative sentence we have to write who and rest of the sentence will be remain same as it is in the assertive sentence okay sorry there will be auxiliary uh, question mark in interrogative sentence remember uh, to write question mark in interrogative sentence uh, otherwise this sentence will be wrong okay okay then rule 6 
uh, if uh, there is every then plus noun if uh, in assertive sentence uh, there is every and the next word is in noun then in interrogative sentence we have to use is there any instead of every then there will be noun and who and the sentence will be in negative form okay if we give an example it will be clear to you for example every mother loves her child okay so every plus noun there is every then noun so in assertive sentence there is every and noun the in interrogative sentence you have to write is there any instead of every okay write it is there is there any then noun okay this noun is there any mother then who okay who then the sentence will be in negative form so the negative form of this sentence will be loves present indefinite tense then uh, the auxiliary verb do or does as the mother here subject then it will be does so is there any mother who does then negative form who does not love her child okay dear learners look at the sentence every plus noun then is there any instead of every in interrogative sentence then noun then who then the sentence will be in negative form okay so rule 7 if in assertive sentence there is everything as subject then in interrogative sentence we have to write what instead of everything and the sentence will be in negative form in interrogative sentence for example everything is possible okay so everything instead of everything write what what then the sentence will be negative form as it uh, there is auxiliary verb what is negative what is not possible okay question marks another example everything seems to be perfect okay then interrogative sentence instead of everything write what then uh, will be negative form present indefinite tense write does what will be regarded as singular form uh, so what does then not what does not seem to be perfect interrogative marks okay so dear learners uh, in assertive sentence everything in interrogative sentence there will be what and the sentence will be in negative form okay so last rule if in assertive sentence there is nothing as subject and instead of nothing we will use what then rest of the sentence will be same okay for example nothing can happen so nothing here is subject then instead of nothing write what then rest of the sentence will remain same what can happen okay so dear learners uh, in my today's class i have discussed uh, how to make an assertive sentence to an interrogative sentence by following these charts and these uh, char uh, rules uh, are discussed with examples uh, in front of you and if you want to make an interrogative sentence into assertive sentence don't worry just follow these reverse rules and you can make interrogative sentence into assertive sentence okay dear learners i hope you have enjoyed the class and you have uh, noted all the rules and examples 
and uh, you just um, if you uh, can easily uh, you want to easily understand the assertive sentence in the interrogative sentence or interrogative sentence into assertive sentence follow this structure follow this uh, chart and by this uh, chart you practice yourself at home okay so i hope uh, we will see you in the next class uh, thank you allah hafiz stay safe and sound